Hey everybody, welcome back to It's Beyond G and today we will be making fried cabbage. It's quick, it's easy, it's delicious. We have a head of cabbage here that we're going to wash and cut. We have some smoked turkey sausage, one whole onion, some garlic salt, Laurie's brand, crushed red pepper, everyday seasoning that you can find from Trader Joe's, and just some black pepper. Go ahead and get a large pan out. We will be frying this stove top. You'll add a little olive oil, heat your pan on low to start. I'm going to go ahead and get my ingredients cleaned, chopped, and prepped, and then we'll be right back. Alright y'all, so I've finished chopping. This is one onion. We have our smoked turkey. This is the clean, dried and cut cabbage. And these are the seasonings. I have my fire on low heat. It's warm and it's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and add my onion and my turkey sausage to the skillet. to begin layering my cabbage. You probably do like two layers. And this, this is my garlic salt. You can use garlic powder, but the salt, I do recommend. I'm add a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of red pepper flakes. You don't want to add too many of the pepper flakes or it'll be too hot. And I'm going to add a little bit of this everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's. That's for a flavor. Just like that. And this is like a pan saute cook, okay? So you can cover it if you like, but I just do not like this. I'm going to go ahead and straighten up my counter. Then I'll be back to stir. Leave your seasonings out because you'll need to take it along the way. I'll be back. So the thing is, the cabbage is going to cook down and it's going to eventually make its own juice. I just stirred it up because the onions and the turkey sausage, they're cooking quite well. And they've made a little bit of juice at the bottom. And I just mixed it up so that our seasonings can be all over. We're going to let this cook on low. So we're back and I wanted to show you all, here's the juice that it made. This is self-made juice from the turkey sausage, the onion, and the cabbage itself. It's been about 10 minutes and it's wilting down, it's cooking down. And I just wanted to show you all what it looks like. It's still not as tender as I would like it. But like I said, everybody has a different preference. Some people like to cook it 15 minutes, some like to go 20, but you don't want to overcook it. And I cook it on the stove top because it's less mushy. I do not like mushy cabbage. So boiled cabbage, cabbage in a crock pot, like I don't want that. I want it sauteed or pan fried to where it's just done enough for me to eat it and enjoy it. And again, remember, if you want to add different seasonings, feel free to. If you don't want to use salt, go ahead and use your powders. But I'm telling you, the garlic salt is yummy. Don't go crazy on the garlic salt because you have the smoked turkey sausage that has some of the sodium in it. But if you're looking for an alternative to some cabbage soup or just something healthier, this is the go-to meal for you. Add some cornbread with it. Um, and just have, have your day. But yeah, we'll let it cook for a little bit longer and then we're going to pull it off. Believe it or not, I'm not eating this today. This is going to be tomorrow's dinner with some freshly baked cornbread. I'm actually going to Chipotle for a Taco Tuesday. So, happy Vlogtober Day 6.
So after about 15 minutes, I took it off the skillet off the stove top. I'm gonna let it cool and then I will be covering this and putting this up and it'll be tomorrow's meal. But yeah, here you go. It'll feed a family of four just by. Thanks again for watching It's Beyond G. Be safe and be blessed. We'll see you next time.